Hello, welcome back. So this is just a really short 10 minute stretch for the spine and a little bit of the hips. So do join me on your mat, we'll start in child's pose. So I want us to start at the back end of our mat, keep the big toes together and now allow the knees to be a little separate and we'll start in child's pose. So soften all the way down to the ground. You can have the elbows a little bent, especially for this first one. Some of us may not be able to bow the forehead that far down and that's absolutely fine and normal. So you might like to make two fists with your hands and rest the forehead on those fists. If you do have um, yoga blocks handy, this is where your blocks are more than welcome to come into use, using them however you would like. And simply allow yourself to breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, softening into the knees, the hips, the lower back with every exhale. Those arms, we reach them out and we breathe in, lift yourself to tabletop. Slide those wrists down under the shoulders and slide those knees so they're underneath the hips and we'll have a sway from side to side. So just simply transitioning that strength from left to right wrist. Allow the body, the head, the hips to be a little free flowing, so having that sway. Maybe you draw into a little circle, really move however is good, however is needed. So number eight, circles, both directions. Can that number eight come the other way? A little bit more focus. Reset that tabletop and we'll take some cat cows. So cat stretch is, Chin to chest, inhale, press into the ground, hips lightly, belly button scoops in. As you breathe out, those hips they lift, belly button drops, and the crown of the head extends to the sky. Press into the ground, breathe in, chin to chest, separate each vertebra of that spine. And exhale through your cow, arching that spine, throat and heart chakra really shine forward. Again, breathe in, chin to chest. Maybe tummy glutes are engaging here and exhale, arching through that spine. You'll break in, tabletop, flat back and breathe out, melt back to child's pose for a moment. So hips back, arms may begin to slide a little further forward if they need to, if they can, sorry. Here, give the hands and wrists a little wiggle if they feel they need it. So maybe wiggling fingers, wrists. You might like to sway from side to side along the hips, the forehead. I mean, my mum absolutely does not like to do this, so all of our bodies are different. See where you're at, see what feels nice. And then come to that stillness for your child's pose. We'll take our little mini flow. So our mini flow is breathing in, rolling open cat stretch. Nice and long through that spine, bend into those elbows and slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Land the belly button. As you breathe in, lift the forehead, lift the heart. Shoulder blades shift back. Sit back to child's pose, those hips then sink back to those heels. Take it exactly the same, for the breath, inhale, roll up, chin to chest, which divides. Gaze to that front line of your mat, bend the elbows lower, five, four, three, on two, on one. Breathe it in, that little cobra, broaden the collarbones, tuck the toes for a toe tuck child's pose. So we want the toes to be tucked, the hips sink back, the fingertips slide forward. With that toe tuck child's pose, those hips are a little higher and maybe we can feel that spine lengthening a little more. Breathe in, breathe out. Your in breath here rounds you up to cat stretch. Nice and long through that spine again, bend into those elbows and just got that strength, triceps and across the chest, the strong focus as you lower slow. Untuck those toes, lift the forehead, lift the heart. And then we want to see, just have a little check in with the strength in the chest, in that lower back. Hover the palms of the hands off the ground as you lift the forehead, the heart. Tuck that chin to the chest so the neck, the, the neck, the spine is a nice extension up to the crown of the head. Land those hands down, press into the ground as you peel the body off the ground. Tuck those toes, take your first down dog here. So step those hands, feet nice and comfortably. Fingers are nice and spread, middle finger facing forward, rest of those fingers spread, and feet just roughly hip width apart, relax the head. Feel those hips floating up, back and down. 
and maybe take that dog for a little wander so you might paddle through the feet and you might kind of add a little movement into the lower back swaying the head check in with the breath in and out through the nose softly bend into those knees as you let take your gaze forward and breathe in walk those feet up to the top of the mat land through those feet so feet roughly hip width and allow yourself to fold. Remember those knees are more than welcome to be a little soft here. You might give that head a little shake, so really relaxing the crown of the head, so the spine, that whole neck and spine is long. Maybe having a sway left or right, or a little wiggling to those fingers. And do hold that stillness. Feel that whole sense of release. The crown of the head is drawing down to the earth. Those arms, the shoulder blades hanging heavy. Bend into those knees, hands slide to thighs, chin to chest, and breathe in, come up. Slowly make sure that the last thing that you lift is the head as you sweep those arms. Maybe lift the gaze. Take to the asana, and drop those arms down beside the body. So here, gently having a rock to tiptoes to heels. You just want to sway the weight forwards and backwards. Transition. I mean, some of us may have a little stumble and that's absolutely okay. That is fine. I do as well. So do just trust yourself. Play with that balance, that strength. Can you feel the toes, maybe the core? As you rock back, maybe you feel the heels, the hamstrings. Sway around. Breathe in, lift up. Ground those feet, palms press. And exhale, swan dive. Do be careful of objects around you as you sweep those arms and fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. And exhale to soften back down. So land those fingertips and heel toe the feet, roughly mat width apart. So you've got a slightly wider stance. So imagine I am, I am on this side of the mat. Those feet roughly hip width apart here. Bend into that right knee. Land either the right fingertips or the palm of that right hand at the center. And as you breathe in, Peel the left arm up to the sky. So the right knee can be a little soft. You want to maybe sink into that left hip a little. If you can't reach the ground, you're, again, you're welcome to use your block. Maybe have a book, a cushion. You're welcome to use that block here. Or maybe it's a little lower. Keep reaching, active with those left fingertips. The gaze might lift up, but if that doesn't feel great for neck or shoulders, you may prefer to look down towards that right wrist. Aiming to be straight from the right wrist all the way up to those left fingertips. A breath in, maybe open the heart, lift that left arm over and breathe out. Begin to switch sides, that left knee softens, land the hand, reach up, right arm, breathe in. Exhale, hold, the left knee is a little soft. Try to feel the soles of those feet against the earth. Breathe in, out through the nose. And your exhale lowers that right arm down. If you did have your block book or cushion, do slide it to the side for now. Maybe give those hands a little wiggle. And can you bend into one knee and then the opposite knee here? Taking a breath in, lifting halfway, crown of the head forward, maybe hands to shins. Exhale, bend those knees so the hands land inside of those feet. Step the right foot to the back, give that foot a little wiggle back. If the hands can stay flat, do. Again, if you need your blocks, you're welcome to use blocks here, books, cushions. Take a little rock with those right toes, rock forwards and backwards. Stepping forward, pressing back. Maybe you inhale as you rock forward and exhale as you rock back. Land down through that right knee, untuck those toes and have that sway from left to right wrist. Can you sink into the hips? Do you want to sway that head a little? You still feel every breath and carefully bring that left foot to meet the right. Knees a little apart, take that wide leg child's pose. Sink those hips back, bow down, hips to heels, forehead to the ground. Breathe through the nose and inhale, round up that cat stretch, slide those knees under those hips, gaze slightly forward, a little mini flow, bend into those elbows. So keep the spine long, chin to chest, back of that neck is long, breathing in, take your little baby cobra. So you wanna arch through the spine slightly, you wanna feel that strength, shoulder blades back, 
and back to your child's pose. From here, float yourself to that tabletop and you're going to step the right foot on the outside of that right hand. So do give it this little squeeze, little invite through and try to keep the sole of that foot flat. Hands are on the inside of those feet, tuck the left toes if you can, knee off the ground. So again, you're welcome to keep that knee on the ground if that's best. We're going to have that rock forwards and backwards. Here, sometimes those hips, they begin then to lift up. Do see if those hips will stay low, it is quite open hips. Open hip flexors to be there, but we're just working into that space. We inhale to press forward and we breathe out as we sway back. Breathing in, breathing out. Three, on two, on one. Land that left knee down, untuck those toes. Have your little sway side to side. Sway in the head, sinking into those hips, breathing through the nose. And then very carefully bring that right knee back. Bring yourself here down to a comfortable seat instead. Legs out. Give those hands that little wiggle. Maybe the head has a sway. Legs out nice and long. Ground down through those sit bones. Breathe in to reach up. And as you breathe out, take that tilt forward so you may reach far towards the feet. Can you relax the head? You're very welcome here to keep these knees a little bent and maybe lace the arms behind the backs of the legs. So in our forward fold here, our aim more so is to have that belly towards those thighs. So if we feel we're kind of really, really arching, we're kind of compensating, the spine is arching, and keep those knees bent. You want that belly towards those thighs and maybe cuddle behind the backs of the legs. Breathe through the nose, feel the belly extend, expand against the thighs. The ribs, the belly, draw in, soften against the thighs. Release those arms. Take your breath in, roll up through the spine, lift and breathe out. Float those hands down. If you can, land the fingertips facing forward. If that's uncomfortable, those fingertips can face the back. Step the feet hip width and land the soles of the feet to the ground. Press into the feet, the hands, and as you breathe in, lift that belly button up. Can you lift the heart a little higher? Stay here, or option to drop the crown of the head back, so it's quite strong through the triceps, the chest, strong glutes, and lower yourself all the way down. Give yourself a little cuddle. Those hands might like a wiggle, that head might like a sway off. And then bring yourself to a comfortable seat, cross legs, legs long, however's best. You can use your block, your cushions, if that feels good. And close the eyes, tiny moment. Relax those shoulder blades, sit tall through the crown of the head. And simply just feel that energy within the body right now after that little practice. As you return yourself to stillness. Notice every breath. Breathe out, place the palms of the hands together, thanking yourself for choosing to wiggle and move into that wonderful body of yours. Thanking the body's ability, strength, and the mind for being kind and choosing to connect and move. Thumbs pressed to the third eye. Om Shanti. especially of these little shorter ones. Um, please like, subscribe, leave any comments, drop me messages, and I'll see you next time.